Okay, going to take a look at the color range box uh, and look at the uh, face detection uh, versus uh, normal sampling. Uh, this is uh, a nice little portrait we can work on. Uh, we're going to look at the color range from the drop down select menu, and this will bring your box up here. And uh, we've had a look at this before. Uh, let's have a look what's new. The down at the bottom there is skin tone, so we can actually search for skin ch skin tones. Uh, Nothing really changed in there in this little drop down menu. Uh, you can have a look through it. I tend to use either non or grayscale. Uh, as, uh, let's put on grayscale. So you get a full screen idea of what's going on with your selections. So let's go and choose skin tones. Just click on it with the mouse, and that will bring up on the screen uh, what is selected. So it's white to reveal. Don't forget, and black to conceal when you're using, uh, getting a selection going. Uh, you can play with your fuzz in a slider. Uh, and it's also got the new detect faces uh, little checkbox in there as well so to boost things along just click in detect faces play around with the fuzz in a slider uh, not too bad a selection really uh, let's have a look what it looks like Ooh, that's a scary baby looking thing that won't appear on your screen uh, non so grayscale is quite good for seeing on full screen what uh, the selection area is like so we click OK you'll get the marching ant selection I'm just going to drag this layer down and make a new layer and then stick a mask on it and that ma that uh, selection now becomes a mask. I'm going to rename this one face detection just to remind because we're going to go back in again to the background and I'm going to uh, do another selection but with sampling and we'll just compare the two uh, but first I think I, what I need to do is to just increase these panel sizes uh, this will probably go off screen so it's going to be uh, increase the panel thumbnail sizes sorry to uh, so we can see something uh, a bit better and drag it out to the side there, that's better. So you can see what's going on. Right, I'm going to uh, just switch it off and go back into the background again. Again, choose colour range. Uh, the box comes up uh, still with detect faces on it and your last settings uh, we need to get out of this. Uh, so if you go to skin tones and just click off detect faces, we'll go back in and do sample colours. So we're going to use the uh, colour sample, let's just take that to 178, so I'm going to click down on the face and just bring the fuzziness down again. Let's go back into grayscale to see what we're doing. Um, if I hold down the shift key and click in the face and then take a bit more fuzziness down I can go in and uh, shift click again shift clicking in the face there just to add to that selection so the white areas are going to be my selection just take the fuzziness down again and then we can shift click so we're adding to it and shift click again looking good as quick as that. Uh, again, I'm going to copy the background uh, to make a new layer, uh, put a mask on it, and uh, we can rename this one as well, uh, just to, so we know where we're up to, where I know where I'm up to. And uh, this is my sample one. And the thing to do then is to uh, compare the two. Uh, so if we look at the mask, which is on the sample one, uh, it doesn't look too bad. And look at the mask there. Mm, we could do some extra work on that one, but you can actually do some work painting on it. Um, so it face detection does a decent job uh, but if you know your way around sampling and shift clicking and alt clicking to take things away from your selection you might uh, want to stick with the old-fashioned way of doing things uh, we can always paint on the mask of course you can see there um, we could paint on with overlay uh, just to tidy up those whites in there um, so that gives you a good idea of um, the difference or, or the similarities between just sampling and uh, using the new face detection and skin tones in the color range uh, uh, selection box. So that's been me. Uh, that's been a quick look at the CS6 select uh, color range. Uh, until the next time, of course, that's uh, bye for now.